Ocasio Cortez and it finds that by 74% uh, percent of voters in the poll, 22% had a favorable view. 22%, Barry. What do you think? Yeah, she's down there with a dog catcher and a used car salesman now. <laughs> uh, those, are, those are incredibly low numbers. I, I think what's happened is, quite frankly, she won because the guy she ran against in the primary, it's a very, very heavily Democrat district. So if you win the primary, you don't even have to show up at the general, you've already won. She, a guy named Joe Crowley had been there a very long time, didn't pay attention to the constituency. She walked door to door, she shook everybody's hand, they gave her a couple talking points. She is a vibrant, exciting young lady um, who came across very presentable and people didn't know what they were getting. As soon as she got there, some of her, her, her discussion points and her positions were so extraordinarily radical, Jermaine, that it's had a profound economic impact. So she's down to a 22% approval rating. That's horrific. I'm a telling you. Huge number, a huge number knows who she is, which means her press is working. Uh, the two guys that quit suddenly have gotten her very famous. But the truth is, I believe there are two key positions that she's taken that have destroyed her approval ratings. Number one, Amazon mm -hmm. was going to come to her district, was going to buy up blocks and blocks and blocks of dilapidated, unoccupied warehousing and offices that are literally sitting there becoming places for drug addicts to break into, invest billions of dollars, create thousands and thousands of jobs. They get this, Germany. This is incredible. The average pay for those jobs at Amazon was over a hundred thousand a year. Woo! A lot and of money. Has single handedly destroyed the Amazon deal to the point where finally Amazon said, We give up, we quit, we don't want to do it. And she didn't like the deal, so she drove them out. That deal is going to go elsewhere, and some major American city is going to kiss Amazon's tush to get those jobs and the revitalization. Remember, if a dollar is directly invested, it might have three dollars or four dollars in economic impact, right? Everybody that gets a job there now goes to a cleaner and a restaurant, mm -hmm. buys a car, uh, and so on. And so the dollars circulate. The economic impact would have been enormous. She personally killed it and brags about it. And companies and groups are buying billboards, literally vilifying AOC in the district. So that was her first strikeout, so to speak. It mm -hmm. killed people's enthusiasm for her. Um, the second one, <laughs> my gosh, I can't even believe we're going to mention it, is her Green New Deal. Yeah. Where insane thing that she came up with. Now keep in mind, her background is bartender and hot dog on a stick girl who got fired for incompetence. She came up with this idea that all fossil fuels should be banned and any enterprise that uses fossil fuels had to be banned. And all housing in America had to be brought up to new standards. So in other words, no cars, no planes, no factories, no cows, because they make gas. And I guess if you're going to go overseas, you take a rowboat, because boats that run on fossil fuels would be banned, which is, by the way, all of them. And transportation that runs on fossil fuels would be banned, which is all of them. And factories that run on fossil fuels would be banned and that's all of them. It would literally, overnight, destroy the American economy. Mm -hmm. Nobody sat down and explained that to her. She just thought it was a great idea to save the world. She's put out video after video that the world will end in 10 years if her Green New Deal is not passed. 
It is the stupidest statement I have ever heard. Well, maybe not. The guy from <laughs> Congress in Georgia that talked about in a congressional hearing that he was worried about American troops being stationed in Guam because the island would flip over from having too many people stand on it. Yep. Okay. Hey, Johnson is an idiot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you know what I'm talking <laughs> about. Okay, that's pretty stupid. Um, this may be stupider, but look, that guy's still in Congress too, Jermaine. I mm. guess you can say anything you want that's really, really dumb if you're in a district with dumb voters. I don't think it's the same thing with Ocasio-Cortez. I think between the Green New Deal and killing Amazon and her radical policies like on Israel as an example, um, people are getting to the point where saying, you know what, what she really needs is a reality show on MTV where she can say dumb stuff mm -hmm. and people have to giggle and the camera follows her around all day. Like, you know, when she's home and she's trying to figure out the garbage disposal and she does a selfie video or she puts her phone on the floor and pleads with the people that are watching her video that the world is about to end and she's going to save the world. I don't know. I guess that's kind of funny to watch until you realize she's a United States Congresswoman with absolutely incredible power and millions of people listen to her every day. 